In this class, we will focus on to visiting a doctor and expand our vocabulary while learning the present perfect continuous tense. Get ready to enhance your language skills for medical situations. Good morning. I have an appointment to see a doctor. I'm feeling really unwell with flu symptoms. Good morning. May I have your name, please? Yes, it's Sarah Johnson. Thank you, Ms. Johnson. Let me check your appointment. Yes, I see you have an appointment with Dr. Anderson. Please take a seat and he will see you shortly. Ms. Johnson. I'm Dr. Anderson. How are you feeling today? Good morning, Dr. Anderson. I'm not feeling well at all. I have a high temperature, body aches, sore throat, and a persistent cough. I see. How long have you been experiencing these symptoms? It started a few days ago, and it's been getting worse. I've been feeling very weak and fatigued as well. Have you noticed any shortness of breath or difficulty breathing? No, I haven't had any trouble with my breathing. Okay. Have you taken any over-the-counter medications or remedies to help alleviate your symptoms? I've been taking some paracetamol for my fever and a cough syrup for the cough, but they haven't provided much relief. I understand. In addition to your flu symptoms, I'd like to ask if you have any other underlying medical conditions or allergies I should be aware of. I have not been experiencing any other underlying medical conditions but I have been taking antihistamine medication for my seasonal allergies on a regular basis. All right. Based on your symptoms, it seems like you have a moderate case of the flu. Have you been resting and staying hydrated? Yes, I have been trying to get plenty of rest and drinking lots of water. I recommend avoiding contact with others to prevent the spread of the virus. Okay, I'll make sure to do that. I'm going to prescribe you some medication to help manage your symptoms. You'll need to take these tablets three times a day with meals. They will help reduce your fever, relieve your body aches, and suppress your cough. Thank you, doctor. I appreciate your help. You're welcome, Ms. Johnson. If your symptoms worsen or if you experience any new concerns, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Take care and get plenty of rest. I will. Thank you, doctor. In our vocabulary section, we provide the meanings of the words highlighted in red in the short animation. If you encounter any unfamiliar words in the definitions, we highly recommend taking the time to learn them. This way, you'll gradually build a wide range of vocabulary. Symptoms are physical or mental indications or signs that suggest the presence of a particular disease, condition, or abnormality in the body. They are usually experienced or observed by the individual affected and can vary depending on the specific illness or issue. Common symptoms include pain, fever, fatigue, cough, headache, nausea, dizziness, swelling, rash, difficulty breathing, and changes in appetite or sleep patterns. An appointment is a scheduled meeting or arrangement between two or more people at a specific time and place. It is a time set aside for a particular purpose, such as a doctor's visit, a job interview, a meeting with a teacher, or a consultation with a professional. Appointments help ensure that everyone involved is available and prepared for the designated time, allowing for efficient communication and interaction. Take a seat it means to find and sit in a chair or a designated place where you can comfortably rest your body. It is an invitation or instruction to sit down and make yourself comfortable. It is a polite way to invite someone to relax and wait for a short period of time until they are called or attended to by someone else. High temperature. The normal body temperature for most adults is around 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. When we say high temperature, it usually refers to a body temperature above the normal range, typically indicating a fever. In adults, a temperature above 100.4 degrees Fahrenheit is generally considered elevated and could be considered a high temperature. 
Body ache refers to a general feeling of discomfort or pain that can be experienced in muscles, joints, or throughout the body. Sore throat means experiencing pain, irritation, or scratchiness in the throat, making swallowing or talking uncomfortable. Cough is a reflex action by the body to clear the airways, typically accompanied by a sudden expulsion of air. It is often caused by irritation or blockage in the throat or lungs and can help remove mucus or foreign substances. Fatigue means feeling extremely tired or lacking energy. It is a state of physical or mental exhaustion that can make it difficult to perform daily activities or concentrate. When someone is fatigued, they may feel weak, sleepy, or drained. Fatigue can result from various factors, including lack of sleep, overexertion, stress, or an underlying medical condition. Shortness of breath means having trouble breathing or feeling like you can't get enough air into your lungs. Breathing means the process of taking air into the lungs and exhaling it out. It is an essential function that allows the body to exchange oxygen and carbon dioxide to support life. Over-the-counter refers to medications or products that can be purchased directly from a store or pharmacy without needing a prescription from a doctor. These are commonly available in pharmacies, supermarkets, or convenience stores. OTC medications are typically used to relieve mild or common ailments, such as headaches, cold symptoms, allergies, or minor aches and pains. Remedies are treatments or solutions that are used to alleviate or cure a problem or illness. They are methods or actions taken to provide relief or improve a particular condition. Common examples of remedies include taking over-the-counter medications for headaches, using herbal teas for soothing a sore throat, or applying ointments to reduce skin irritation. Alleviate means to reduce or ease the intensity, severity, or discomfort of something, such as pain, stress, or a problem. It is about making something feel better or improving the situation to bring relief. Fever is a condition in which the body temperature rises above its normal range. It is often a sign that the body is fighting off an infection or illness. When a person has a fever, they may feel hot, sweaty, and uncomfortable. It can be accompanied by symptoms such as headache, body aches, chills, or fatigue. Cough syrup is a type of medication that is used to help relieve coughing. It is a liquid medicine that is usually taken orally. Cough syrup contains ingredients that can help soothe the throat, reduce coughing, and provide temporary relief from cough symptoms. Relief means a feeling of comfort, ease, or relaxation that comes after the removal or reduction of something unpleasant or distressing. It brings a sense of release, satisfaction, or respite from a challenging or uncomfortable situation. Allergy refers to a reaction of the immune system to a substance that is usually harmless, resulting in symptoms like sneezing, itching, or a rash. It is the body's response to perceived threats from certain substances known as allergens. To be aware of it means to have knowledge or understanding about something. It means being conscious or informed about a particular fact, situation, or event. When you are aware of something, you have recognized or acknowledged its existence, and you have knowledge or information about it. It can refer to being aware of your surroundings, being aware of potential risks or dangers, or being aware of certain rules or guidelines. Medication refers to a substance or drug prescribed by a healthcare professional to treat, manage, or prevent a medical condition or alleviate symptoms. It is taken orally, injected, or applied externally to help improve health or relieve discomfort. Moderate means having a degree of something that is neither too little nor too much. It suggests a balanced or reasonable level or intensity, falling between extremes. 
stay hydrated means to ensure that your body has enough water or fluids to function properly. It refers to maintaining an adequate level of hydration by drinking enough liquids throughout the day. Take care of yourself means to prioritize and attend to your own well-being, health, and happiness. It involves engaging in actions or practices that promote self-care and self-nurturing. When someone tells you to take care of yourself, they are encouraging you to look after your physical, emotional, and mental needs. Spread means the act of extending or distributing something over an area or among a group of people. It can refer to the expansion, propagation, or dissemination of information, ideas, diseases, or objects. Prescribe means to officially recommend or order a specific treatment or medication for a person's medical condition. It is a decision made by a healthcare professional, usually a doctor, who carefully evaluates the individual's symptoms, medical history, and overall health. When a doctor prescribes something, they provide specific instructions and details on the medication, dosage, and duration of treatment. Take these tablets means to ingest or swallow the specified medication in tablet form. It is an instruction or recommendation given by a healthcare professional or someone providing the medication. When you are told to take these tablets, it means you should consume the prescribed medication by placing the tablet in your mouth and swallowing it with water or as directed. Suppress your cough means to reduce or control the act of coughing. It refers to taking measures or using remedies to lessen the frequency or intensity of coughing. When someone tells you to suppress your cough, they are suggesting methods or medications that can help minimize the urge to cough or make the coughing less severe. This may include taking cough syrup or lozenges, using throat sprays, or following specific breathing techniques. Get plenty of rest means to ensure that you have an adequate amount of sleep and relaxation. It suggests giving your body and mind the time they need to recover, recharge, and rejuvenate. How long have you been experiencing these symptoms? Present perfect continuous tense is used to discuss an ongoing action or situation that started in the past and continues into the present. On the following two pages, you will discover formulas associated with the present perfect continuous tense. The formula for the present perfect continuous tense in its positive, question, and negative forms is as follows. Positive form, subject, plus. Have has, plus been plus present participle plus object example i have been studying for the exam question form have has plus subject plus been plus present participle plus object example have you been studying for the exam negative form Subject, plus, have has, plus, not, plus, been, plus, present participle, plus, object. Example, I have not been studying for the exam. It's important to note that the auxiliary verb, have, is used with the subject, I, you, we, and and they, while a has, is used with the subject, he, she, it, and singular nouns. Also, the present participle is used after been to indicate the continuous aspect of the action. Here are five examples using the present perfect continuous tense with the same subject. How long have you been waiting for the bus? Have you been studying English for a long time? How long have you been working on this project? Have you been feeling tired lately? How long have you been living in this city? Here are additional examples of the present perfect continuous tense in negative form, along with the reasons for using this tense. I haven't been studying for the exam. This means that the person has not been continuously studying for the exam leading up to the present moment. 
she hasn't been working out regularly. This implies that she has not been consistently engaging in regular exercise. They haven't been practicing their instruments lately. This indicates that they have not been regularly or consistently practicing their musical instruments recently. He hasn't been taking care of his health. This suggests that he has not been actively or consistently maintaining his well-being. We haven't been watching television all day. This means that the individuals have not been continuously watching television throughout the entire day. The present perfect continuous is used when you want to emphasize the ongoing nature or duration of an activity that started in the past and is still continuing in the present. It is appropriate when you want to highlight the progress, development, or persistence of the action over time. Some common signals or words used with the present perfect continuous tense include for, since, or time expressions. Phrases like lately, recently, all day, all week, this week, today, and this month can be used with the present perfect continuous to indicate current ongoing activity. Four, when followed by a duration of time, such as for two hours, for a week, for five years, it suggests that the action has been ongoing for that period. For example, he has been practicing the piano for three hours. Since, when followed by a specific point in time, such as since yesterday, since last month, or since I was a child, it indicates the starting point of the ongoing action. For example, they have been living in that house since 2010. Time expressions, words or phrases like lately, recently, all day, all week, this week, today, and this month can be used with the present perfect continuous to indicate current ongoing activity. For example, she has been feeling tired all day, we have been working on this project recently. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more.